been a minute since we've been up in it, but we back in the whip again. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> what? It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Anywho, anyhow, BK is pulling some debaucherous activities and they're taking the Whopper and making a mushroom Swiss out of it now. Am I a very mushroom Swissy guy? Not usually, but I do love mushrooms. I came to them in my later years in life, in my 20s. And uh, you know what? Let's have a mushroom Swiss Whopper, put it to the test, see what's up. I need a poutine. I've been thinking about eating this meal for probably a week and a half, two weeks at this point. So we're gonna get it with some extra mushrooms, extra royal sauce, which is a sauce I'm intrigued to try. But uh, let's see how this is. And I'm so ready for a poutine. Just totally defaced. Ketchup all over it. Just graffiti ketchup all over the poutine. Okay. I'll meet you at the drive-thru. Stack secured. I fully skipped the drive-thru for the fact that it was popping. And in this economic climate, I ain't wasting the gas. So I parked her, turned her off. Inside I go. Nobody inside. So got my order faster than probably everybody in the drive-thru. So clutch moves. Anyways. Bring you on down for the real thing, Cam, and check out this little burger. They also changed the... We'll talk about it. So what we're going to talk about first things first, they changed the poutine holster, okay? Which is very, very interesting. It used to be the plastic. Now I got the cardboard. I don't know how I feel about it, but I think it's probably better for the environment. So we'll defile that soon, but let's check out this burger. Off rip. Very, very light in comparison to a regular Whopper. Not much going on. But let's open her up see what we are working with it's hot though it's definitely warmer feeling than a regular whopper they definitely extra sauce me up and uh let's have a look inside oh they really sauced me up okay that's aggressive i kind of hate when that happens you ask for extra something and they just like take it as you know what i mean they take it like as like a like a fuck you almost but anyways it's extra can't lie about that just hit you with the action shot on the fresh poutine. It has not very much even distribution in terms of that cheese and sauce, which is interesting, but uh, whatevs, all good. I'll mix her up myself. All right, so here it is. Very like slender and plain seeming. I Listen, I know I filed for extra sauce on this, but that just seems unnecessary. A little, a little lippy, if you will. But let's find out what it's all about. You guys know I usually go in for a hot poutine bite first, but I wanna, I just wanna know what this is about. Off rip, mushroomy, garlicky smells. But anyway, Swiss cheese, caramelized onions, this sauce, um, mushrooms, patty. Nasty on my face. Cream of mushroom souped my entire face on first bite. An absolute side liquor. Swiss cheese. Barely melted. Hardly even melted at all. Here comes an onion. Natural and caramelized. What they should have, and what I was gonna do, but I wanted a poutine. I really didn't wanna have to buy onion rings. Put onion rings on this, that would be fire. Mushroom. Looks better than a canned mushroom, but still kind of like a canned mushroom. The royal sauce is very it feels like there's a mushroom. infusion into the sauce as well cream of 
creamy, tangy. Sauce is good. The burger itself is so just not substantial. So expensive too. Just the burger. Eight ninety nine. And right now you can get two Whoppers for the same price. Two Whoppers. It's eight ninety nine. Comes with like ten eighteen. I've been getting them forever. BK's best deal. It's good though. It's like, not amazing. I got three dollops of sauce. <laughs> On my thigh currently. <laughs> so that's a pair of jeans straight to the wash. Very mushroomy. Cheese kind of gets a little bit lost in there. The onions too a bit. Just really tangy and mushroomy with sauce. Hmm. Wouldn't redo it. All right, just the water today. That Dasani, very fancy. And now we head over to a hot, hot poutine and talk a little shop about I don't know how about the fact that I just had a job interview let's talk about that here hot poutine I got an old couple beside me vibe and having their 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 Burger King too you can tell they've been together since 19 dickety too and grandma's still chomping a whopper. <clears throat> That's what's up. Um, yeah, I just had a job interview. Back to uh, back to the restaurant he goes, maybe. Back to the food world. I guess it's where I fit in the world, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> But I've actually reviewed I did the pizza <clears throat> on here. It's a De Detroit style pizza, but also like wings, appetizers, like a little higher end approachable food, like dirty, dirty treats, but like higher end. Dude, I went to high school with is like responsible for it or whatever if you guys remember that video but um it's connected to a brewery and it's like very modern style decor aesthetic very up-to-date kind of trendy-ish just pub food basically dirty pizza pies and sandwiches and stuff like that very in my wheelhouse very up my alley but yeah interview went cool talk to the guy for like a good 40 minutes really casual super chill he knew of places that i worked because he used to work down in southern ontario too like all around So he knew of spots that I worked at. And uh, yeah, we had good rapport. Got a tour of the kitchen and the downstairs, the prep, the storage, all the walk-in and everything, all the multiple walk-ins and 
they brew on site obviously too like their 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 beer on site so had a little look at that which was cool and uh, yeah i think i was his first interview of the day so he just said i'll be in touch and then he's like we're, we're gonna select a few people and run a few shifts with our desired candidates i just gleeked you guys remember gleeking <laughs> can't do it on command only when i'm eating poutine randomly and talking about pizza places or well restaurants and breweries but um yeah they're just gonna see who tests best i guess who fits what they need so i'll be Kind of waiting on uh waiting on that i guess i'm looking into other things too i got some other ideas that i'm playing with messing with oh man the poutine's hitting me like a brick Probably better that it's in this container. Those plastic ones are pretty bulky. I'm probably worse off for the earth, so. Poutine, poutine BK, I approve. Also, be on the lookout for a subscriber sponsored request. Shout out Shaz. That'll be coming in the next day or two. Um, should I say what I'm going to get? What, what, what I'm getting? Think. Think ne Negril. Think Patois. <laughs> think Reefer. Think Bob Marley. Think Yaman. For the food choice. We'll leave it at that. Anyways, that's enough for me. I am full. I'm sweated out. It's getting hot out. Well, not hot out, but it's actually getting to be spring here, even though it looks like shitty out. We're finally in some plus temperatures. Anyhow, uh, I don't know. Yeah, that burger was like, uh, I would never get it again. But... I don't know, I just saw the advertisement for it. I've just been craving it ever since because I do like a cream mushroom soup. I do I do enjoy mushrooms. Just not all the time, but it was on my mind. Anywho, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true. Peace. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.